Hello Contemporary Architects and welcome back to our course. This is our fifth chapter and we haven't had uh, classes in the last two weeks so I hope you still remember me. We uh, just finished the exam, the midterm exam in which uh, about 800 of you have participated and this morning I was able to uh, read uh, some of the exams and, and to submit the final grades. Uh, thank you for all who participated in it. In uh, this second part of the semester, we'll have four more lectures. We'll start with today with a formal uh, design, form, sculpture uh, and sign. The next week we'll be talking about digital design and computation. And then in our seventh week we'll have sustainability and resilience. In the last week, we'll have social design and activism. Today's lecture about uh, form, sign, and sculpture will be focused on uh, some fundamental aspect of uh, architectural design, and that is the appearance of the building and the effect that it has on us through its expressive form. I have chosen three very different architects which would illustrate uh, the variety of uh, projects and topics and methodologies that, would, that could possibly uh, fit into this uh, category. We'll be speaking first about Frank Gehry and his Bilbao project. Afterwards, we'll see uh, Daniel Liebeskind and his project for uh, the Jewish Museum in Berlin. And then uh, afterwards, I'll show you a tour of Ground Zero, uh, which I did on uh, Monday this week. And some of you were able to log in and to see uh, the tour. Um, I recorded a video on site for those of you who are not able to log in on Monday and who would still be interested in uh, seeing the projects. We'll conclude with uh, the work of uh, Santiago Calatrava. Uh, we'll see a presentation by his son and my friend Gabriel Calatrava as our last lecture. Uh, this will bring you a variety of, of uh, topics and we'll see how some people focus on uh, the formal aspect of architecture as Frank Gehry as, for example, uh, molding and articulating forms almost as uh, the same way as making sculpture, um, Daniel Liebeskin on the other side in uh, the Jewish Museum in Berlin uses a specific concept and, and specific methodology which is the one of connecting the location where Jewish people used to live on uh, Berlin and intersecting them with uh, the site. Um, Daniel Liebeskin and in uh, the video that we'll see uh, on his project is uh, someone who um, designs architecture almost as if he were uh, doing a poetry. So for him, uh, the most important aspects are the sign, uh, the meaning and the atmosphere that a space uh, creates. His uh, architecture uses very complex uh, geometries, as uh, you will see later, and uh, also metaphors spaces uh, which uh, are embedded with metaphors and who have a deep impact, a strong impact on the perception of the visitor. Santiago Calatrava on the other side is an architect who is also an engineer, a painter and a sculptor. In his work we will see how these magnific magnificent buildings are designed and built with the skills of a sculptor and the creativity of a sculptor with the understanding and, and the control of the process of an architect and with uh, the methodology and the knowledge of the engineer. Without all these uh, aspects, all these skills that he has, it would be impossible to build these uh, highly complex uh, projects. Um, I think this would be a good way to introduce you to the topic. Obviously, it's a very broad one and you could uh, find many more uh, people who are related to this. I would invite you to further look into uh, the 
um, today's constructivist architecture and the exhibit curated here in um, the MoMA in Manhattan by uh, Philip Johnson and uh, Mark uh, Wigley uh, on the deconstructivist architecture in which uh, we had uh, Frank Gehry, uh, Daniel Liebeskin, uh, Tom Main, uh, Zaha Hadid, um, Cobb Himmelblau and uh, others. So uh, enjoy the lectures and I look forward to your comment and to the discussions after each video.